What's up, truck buddies? Airborne Trucker, a.k.a. ABT, a.k.a. AT, a.k.a. Park Up King, a.k.a. TMC Juice Drinker, a.k.a. whatever you want to call me. I want to make a quick video about being a company driver versus being an owner-operator at TMC. All right. You know, I always like to read the comments and stuff like that. And people talk about, oh, man, you can make way more money. You know, if you got your own truck, run your own truck. Man, you're not making no real money at TMC. Hey, man, you just sipping on that Kool-Aid. You sipping on that juice, man. You ain't, man, you just blind, blah, 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 or whatever the case might be. All right. So I'm taking numbers from October 17th to the 23rd of, you know, the actual numbers to the best that I can to show you the difference. And I kind of just seen the difference myself, just doing it for, you know, shits and giggles for myself and for you guys, you know, thinking about running your own truck. You know, is it cost effective? Is it beneficial? Overall, yes, you probably will make more money as an owner operator because it's your truck, but you have all the risk, all the risk. As a company driver, I have no risk. When I needed four tires um, Wednesday, Thursday, who got the bill? TMC. I picked up a drop, a drop trailer. The recap was gone. All right, my last truck buddy was a Blue Falcon. Then called in, so they changed um, two tires on the trailer. And my tractor had a uh, my recap was coming apart, or just the, you know. So I was like, hey, might as well do it all at the same time. So of course they changed two tires on my tractor. So that's four tires. The guy says about you know fifteen hundred to two grand for four tires, give or take. You know they were good years, something like that. So. Needless to say, I didn't get that tire bill. I guess who got the bill? TMC, you know? It just, it is what it is, man. You know, heavy as the head that wears the crown. But I'm going to get into these numbers. Enough rambling. All right. A little a TMC juice, as they say, I drink on. All right. So for that week, I did $6,791.45 to the truck. All right. That's total. So I'm like, damn, that's, you know, that's pretty decent money. So I'm gonna break it down for you. All right, so I'm at 32% company driver. All right, as an owner operator, you'll be at 75% without trailer. If you have a trailer, you get 78% of the revenue. All right. So gross driver, 2163.65. All right, that's what I made off all those loads. That's gross. We, you know me, I'm always about net. Don't care about the gross. Okay, so that, you got the taxes. I don't pay state taxes, all right? I stay in Florida. I'm not damn tax dodging. I stay in Florida, all right? So we're going to pay federal, two eighty-eight ninety-three. All right, I've got my 401k maxed out, so that's two twenty oh four. That's, you know, for that week. Um, I donate three dollars to the family assistance fund, and my passenger permit. I just went and took it out the whole time. It's twenty dollars per month. All right, when you have your spouse, your child, significant other, whoever the case might be, you know, when you're driving, it's twenty bucks a month. No big deal. All right. So you see, um, I added the CDL reimbursement. TMC reimbursed you. I'm up to five thousand dollars if I'm not mistaken. You had to talk to an actual recruiter because it might change. But two hundred bucks, you get it reimbursed the third week every month. So my net, this is what I got paid. Um, I think two weeks ago, one thousand eight hundred thirty-one dollars and sixty-eight cents. That's company driver. So you see all my expenses. That's it. Taxes, four hundred one k. I only count that. You know. That's it. You know, passenger permit, blah, 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 whatever. $1,831.68. All right. So we're going to switch it up on you. You want to be a company, I mean, excuse me, owner operator. You know, you want to make all this money. Check it out. I'm going to try to be, go smooth, go slow, but not really slow, but you can kind of just see and break it. I bro broke it down. All right. You got 75% without trailer. So with the revenue, if you have your own trailer, if you're not using TMC's trailer, you would gross 
$5,078.92. Without a trailer, that's 75%, $4,000. $883.59. All right. Only had to tarp two out of the three loads. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, as an owner operator, you get 100 bucks to tarp loads. I'm not sure how much it costs or how much you would get if you, when you want to tarp. I'm pretty sure you get paid for something like that, too. All right. So these are all your deductions. This is the best as I could get from, you know, from offline and the stuff, you know, with TMC. If you're doing a lease purchase, your truck payment weekly is five hundred dollars a month. Straight up, five hundred bucks a month. All right. The insurance, Bobtail, eight dollars fifty four cents. All right. Occupational injury, thirty four sixty two. You got to rent their equipment, the Qualcomm or you know, whatever the case might be. You know, ten bucks. The plates. 48 43 your permits i broke it down like i said these are all weekly charges most of them are like uh monthly or yearly or something like that permits dollar 22 a month heavy vehicle use tax 1058 like i said all, everything is broke down weekly all right this one's gonna get kind of funky all right you have a maintenance account they recommend 10 cents per mile just for you know breakdowns and stuff like that breakdowns are going to happen there ain't no ifs ands or buts about it all right so at 25 cents per mile it'll be 811 dollars and 75 cents i'll show you where i get that from here in a second all right so that's a deduction you're know, putting that in your maintenance account all right you get the fuel service charge but for that week i spent with TMC, $907.11. I'll get to that here in a second also. All right. The escrow, lease purchase only. That comes out at $0.10 cents per mile, three twenty four seventy. dollars I'll get to that here in a second too also. All right, another deduction. Insurance, not provided. You got to get your own dog on insurance. All right. Trailer rental, I'm not sure. How much your trailer rental is if you have your own trailer if you know you uh buy a trailer rent a trailer from somebody else and you bring it to tmc so i said two hundred dollars a week all right could be more could be less all right so like i said it was three loads all right load number one was three thousand eight hundred five dollars and sixty cents at 75 percent you get two thousand eight hundred fifty four dollars and twenty cents load number one load number two one thousand three hundred three dollars and eighty cents. Your seventy five percent nine seventy seven eighty five. And load number three. One thousand four hundred two dollars and five cents. Yours will be one thousand fifty one dollars and fifty four cents at seventy five percent. All right. So, of course, when I'm getting the CDL reimbursement, I'm not sure if that's even allowed, but I just try to make it fair on both sides. You know, that's, that's plus 200 bucks, third week of the month. All right, let's get to the other numbers. How I got the fuel. I filled up three times. You know, on average, I'm thinking if I'm running a truck, hopefully I'm spending less than a thousand bucks a week in fuel. So you see the three times I filled up, all right, which was a 907.11. Now let's get to the important part also. The total miles. All right, so <sighs> yes, these are the miles that you get paid for, or that they're probably doing a calculation on. Two thousand nine hundred thirty-one loaded miles. But let's be realistic. You're running your truck. You got to pick up the freight. You know, you got to actually, you know, deliver the freight. So the actual miles, as you can see, was three thousand two hundred forty-seven all miles. All right. So as you can see, that's like a 300 mile difference because they're not including uh, the miles you go pick up the freight. These are your actual loaded miles, excuse me. Those are your loaded miles, but this is the miles actual that are driven. They're gonna vary, you know, when you buy the GPS, you know, it might be off a few miles. So that's where we get. Where's the fuel at? 
That's where we get the fuel, 907 11. All right. That's how I figured up the escrow. It was a total of 3,247 miles. So 32470 is put in the escrow for you or and to the escrow until you get to your 7,000. However, that works. I'm not going to even shoot you no know, BS. I don't know. All right, like I say, insurance not provided. All right. So. It's all said and done. Bam. Without a trailer, you're going to net, because I'm all about net, net, $2,346.64. That's without a trailer. If you have a trailer, you know, the difference was $195.33. So you're netting $2,541.97. At the 78% per the three loads, that's, that's your numbers right there. So you see your $29.68 compared to the... 1854, excuse me, 2854, 20, and, and so forth. 10, 16, 96, compared to the 977, and then 109,360 to the 10, 51, 54. So that's at 78%. All right. I'm trying to keep this clear as possible. So now, is it worth being a you know uh, owner operator? Overall, yes, probably. But but this week here. The only difference that would have been made, give or take, between, you know, the 75%, 78% compared to a 30% company driver is $710.29. All right. So, is that worth the headache? Probably not that week. But this past week, I did, uh, I think it was a little over seven grand, probably about 7200 to the truck. So, of course, that's going to go up a little bit. Your deductions are going to be different, just a tad bit. But I wanted to try to be as clear as possible and transparent about, you know, man, I can make all this money as an owner-operator. Man, why do I want to be a company driver? I like not having the responsibilities of the headaches, the breakdowns just yet. Do I want my own truck? Yes, I do. One day. Financially, not ready. It's just being realistic, you know. The trucking game is not going anywhere. All right, it's not going anywhere. Save your money, take your time, learn what the heck you're doing, and then buy a truck when you're financially ready. Because a breakdown will happen. It happens. It's not if, it's when. Okay, some of the advice I've seen online you might want to have $25,000 saved up for maintenance. I mean, everybody's different. Some say 10, you know, some say 15, some say five. Hey, there's drivers out there. Hey, they're, no, they straight up. Hey, there's no money in the counter. Just, they're, they're living on a dream and that's okay too. But you got to do what's best for you and your family. And right now me buying a truck makes no sense for me. So I'm going to take my $1,831 and 68 cents net not gross net for that week. That's what was deposited in my account two weeks ago. I have no worries. Now, don't forget, as an owner-operator, you got to figure out your own taxes. All right? You got to figure out your own doggone taxes. So you got to put away for that. Not only maintenance, but you got to put your money away for taxes. All right? So for that week, like I said, two weeks ago, he might say, that you just made? You might say that for taxes. Straight up. You might just hey you might say you made no money that week. You just, you know, put that into the side. Now you still have to pay yourself, but just put that to the side for taxes. Alright. They said the best advice you can do as an owner operator is when you make your money, you save your money. Save your money. I have no desire to buy a truck right now. But when I do, it's gonna be a nice truck. I'm not gonna be doing sixty two miles per hour creeping down the road hey but that's another story so we're at almost 15 minutes hopefully this is some information i could that, that you can use somebody like i said it's not like daggone down to the penny but as accurate as i could get you know with the deductions to give you an idea is it worth it right now to be an owner operator should i run a truck should i get my own authority do not freaking rush it don't rush it guys gals don't rush it Learn what you can on the company's dime. You know, God forbid, you know, you tear the truck up, 
It's not costing you anything. You know, you're going to be down for a little bit. It's going to be an inconvenience. But it's up to the company to get you running again. All right? But as the owner-operator, you got to figure that stuff out. You know? And I'm not ready for that headache. You know? I'll give it another year or two. Another year for sure. And then I'll reevaluate where I'm at. And we'll go from there. But for now, I'm going to drink on my uh, TMC juice. Stay blessed, be safe, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Airborne Trucker, signing off.